So today we are going to speak about an example that you will not find just in building motorcycles or custom motorcycles, like in my case. Um, today I'm going to talk about how to create um, all optimized position between two parts that have not, let's say, the idle geometry to be mounted together over scans. So I'm using Geomagic Essentials for that because I think it's a really price to benefit uh, side very good software for this kind of stuff and you will see here that I will uh, let's say find in the three-dimensional space a connection position between the ignition module itself that's like a box and the frame itself the frame is consisting as well of uh, different unregular geometries that are not perfect to make uh, a position on them and I will use the scan data only for doing so. So this is the scan of the area of, from the frame that I want to use and first I'm let's say marking the areas that I want to use for let's say putting the ignition module on and I activate contact features and that makes an, a different to the best fit alignment between that surface it will let's say create a tangential uh, contact between that created surface and the marked mesh so right now i imported the ignition module to be able to position it inside the space the numeric space i will have um, to have some let's say precise planes mathematically precise planes and i'm doing that by creating three planes on the surfaces of the ignition module housing i'm using best fit surfaces for that and uh, with them i'm going to block the degrees of freedom of shifting the ignition module inside the numeric room that will represent uh, the assembly uh, of both parts in the shifting directions to to the different axes and the rotational degrees of freedom i will block them with them as well so for um for selecting the mesh that I use for um, best fit plane, I'm using that angle based selection um, and um, this gives me a really fast um, some precise position of the uh, planes that I need for positioning um, the part later on. So last plane created that will be plane number three and I'm fine to be able to have some alignment help uh, by shifting the ignition module I will create as well one axis that will be a cutting axis between plane three and plane one it will make it easier for me to find a position okay they are intersection between the two planes and that intersection will be that axis, that local that I created or okay so next I will have um, to um, get that um, plane that I created on the frame for the contact between ignition module and um, uh, frame I will have to make it global that is some very important step this makes it possible to um, align based on uh, mesh created references so when I'm right now going to dislocate the ignition module with its created planes in, in the world coordinate system uh, by making it um, global and uh, shifting it to the coordinate system, a world coordinate system, I will be able to select it uh, later on when I want to position the ignition module. Additionally, I will do the same um, axis like I did before in the ignition module. It will be an intersection axis between the mounting surfaces that's plane two from the former ignition module position what I unfortunately cannot use anymore because size was very different and that fitting plane that is plane number five and this will be my equivalent uh, to the axis that I created on the ignition module for position it okay so I will make this one as well globally available and right now I am able to select um, that um, plane number five that's my mounting 
plane for the ignition model that I created on the frame based on some on the contact points and uh, that's that's became a global and I'm going to select the counterpart on that ignition model and I'm going to that's plane number one I'm going to make it pair it means I'm going to shift the ignition model with all its uh, attached components it means the other planes to that plane and voila I think it looks quite good so that comes to what I measured out on the bike roughly and I uh, want right now it's not totally defined to define the horizontal position so I'm going to align that uh, line that I created or axis that I created in the ignition module be between that different uh, planes and uh, the equivalent one on the frame I'm going to bring them into alignment oops that's uh, that's wrong so line 2 I mean, let's say, um, align the planes again like I did before and afterwards I'm going to align the two uh, the two axes that I did and right now I aligned it in uh, the horizontal way. So the only degree of freedom that I didn't define is shifting it um, upside down, that would be the Z axis in that case. And I have no really good feature um, for that based on my measurements beside that what I uh, seen on the picture and I'm got just going to manually adjust it by shifting um, the object this is that for the button over here to that uh, position that I s measured out um, more or less or by by looking at um, its position on the real bike I was measuring that with a st measurement stick uh, approximately that is here not uh, a question of uh, millimeters uh, it's more a question of centimeters but it will be fine after creating some additional information based on the mesh I am exporting that assembly between uh, the later on position from ignition module and the frame to my cut program and I am going to design my plastic housing for the ignition module around this assembly position that I defined so far after this is finished I'm going to print out a prototype and uh, verify if it's fine. Just here you can see that it was fine and working and uh, that it's mounted on the bike as well. So that's it. This is how you can do positioning of parts based on scans in the virtual um, possibility of Geomagic and uh, speed up your design process and get a better result.